all that stuff. Go and like, subscribe, follow, whatever the appropriate um, verb is. Right, welcome to service 6032 from Long Branch, New York, Penn. You will leave this service at South Amboy. Start by opening the doors here at Long Branch and stop all stations along the way. Doors are open. We have a signal directly in front of us, so I'm going to enable ATC. lights on. Better. Right, time to go. We've got our first 250 points. They're sort of something of a freebie, I guess. remembered on time. There is much redness in front of me. We have audio. That was the equivalent of Miss Cifa. as well. Look at this. I get far too excited about this. I really do. Alright, let's have a look at ye oldie. Ah, you know what? There is no reason for that to be... Oh, he's possibly still in the section. Oh, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it the... the, the Benefit of the doubt. <laughs> BNSF, how far is the whistle wall place from the crossing? I think it depends on the speed limit. It should have time for you to do the uh, Rule 14L sequence. Got the yellow. US trains for it. This DLC is the same as the train with the original route. It's not the same train. This is an Alp 46. What comes in the route is an Alp 45 DP, which is different. They look fairly similar from the front, but one of them is dual power, one of them is electric only. Can I go faster than... Ish. Right, keep speeding up. Now we're apparently speeding because we're at 25. Twit.
my signal control of 30. Didn't it? to Monmouth Park, which is uh, just up ahead. He stopped a bit in front of the, gar the barrier there. Mr. Impatient. So Monmouth Park, a third of a mile, it's just up ahead. French Star and I should be around on uh, over the weekend. Feels like they cheaped out on this platform. Doors open. What would I say to a scenario with Overland FEF3 on Sherman Hill? I'd say hello scenario with Overland FEF3 on Sherman Hill. Folks, don't keep asking me about multi levels and bi levels. Um, if, you, if that's something that you're interested in, you need to tell Dovetail, not me. <laughs> Any updates to the 24 hour stream? Um, I don't know if you're aware of BNSF, but I have actually um, got it all sorted out now. November 13th is the, um, is the, night, is the um, 24 hour stream. Uh, I don't know what time I'm going to be doing it yet, but I've now booked all the time off work. And um, nearer the time, I'll be posting the uh, schedule. And uh, oh, such fun! We're still limited to thirty. Yep, we are. Oh, I didn't boot Bell as we moved on with it. Oh dear, oh dear. So, like I said, I haven't decided what time the 24 hour stream will be starting yet. We've got loads of time. Am I going to be going on TV? No, I'm not going to be going on TV. No one needs that. Nobody needs that. Still limited to 30. Does 
this have a seg cab view? Do you mean like this? And this? How do you get the steam engine stuff to help you with? I don't understand the question, dude. Oh. Missed that. It's still raining. Yep, still limited to 30. How do you get the assisted driver work? Control A, yeah, but only in the Riviera steam engines at this time. Cheers, BNSF. a little silver, little sliver. station got the uh, green we should get no signal limitations now Yep, we're able to go up above 30 now. We are due in just slightly early into Red Bank. Not slightly early. Oh, we are 13 seconds early. Oh, I'll soon get rid of that. <laughs> so, we're accelerating to 80 miles an hour. We have 60 limit in front of us. We just passed the green previously, so we're good for the next one. Cheers, BB2010.
back down to a 30 limit again. Night, Danish bacon lover. American Sea. Have we caught up with the train in front? We have indeed. Well, I guess I am a couple of minutes early, so... I guess I can't be too critical. The slow coach in front. D. Hayworth! Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Is he gone? I do believe he's gone. As soon as he passes the next signal, which is a little ways down the line. Oh, look at this rain. And it's getting darker. Oh, it's getting serious now. H268, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Alright. Let's get into uh, the station. It's not going to make me late. It's made me late. just annoys me actually. I was here well early and it made me late. Right, once we get in we can stop the train. Monty says that bell is not irritating anyone. That's really good, Monty, because I intend to use it a lot more in this scenario. There you go.
US trains, why don't hold and lap do anything? The hold and lap are used for holding the brake um, setting. Um, they, wor they work exactly as they're supposed to. Um, so essentially, they're manually lapped brakes. So you, you move the brake into apply. What is that? Is that yellow? That's yellow. Oh, in that case, we can get going again. Panic there. I thought that was a red. Um, yeah, you move them into apply and you watch the brake cylinder go up. When it gets to where you want, you pull it back into the hold lap position. Either one doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're in a 30 limit at the moment. Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. rain it's making it it's a bit cold in here with all this rain let's get the window shut shall we oh no wonder it's still cold that one's open shut that one let me accelerate yeah nope Why does the brake always create wheel slip? Brake doesn't create wheel slip, but you need to watch what your um, brake cylinder pressure is doing. I didn't even see that coming. It's so dark and rainy out here. Uh, you need to watch what your brake cylinder is doing. So if you don't, um, if you just apply until you get lots of wheel slip, uh, lots of brake cylinder, then you're basically applying emergency brakes. Um, even if, because it's what the brake cylinder is doing, not what your brake lever is doing. The brake lever is simply ask, uh, making the brake cylinder change which is uh, not quite the same thing. Still got a limit to 30. So next timing, 0850 into Hazlitt. I don't think I'm gonna make that, but we shall try. I think this is even Moggy approved usage of wipers, if I'm honest. I think they're raining sufficiently that the wipers... Uh, wiper use is justified at this point. Moggy says, we have rain on the window, wiper use approved. Stamp. Moggy's seal of wiper use approval. One point eight miles to get to Middletown. Unfortunately, sick cab signaling has us locked at thirty. Do I have a faster speed on the wipers? No, I don't think so. There might be, I don't know. I don't know where the wiper control is. They do seem rather ineffective at this level of rain, don't they? <laughs> 1.3 miles.
Oh, it's lovely weather out here today. Apparently Moggy can walk at 30 miles an hour. That's quite impressive. Uh, sorry, Monty. Monty, that's quite impressive. Yeah, Tyrone, I'm looking forward to the 24-hour scenario as well. Part of me thinks I am possibly the most insane person on the planet. And, to be honest, most of the company think I'm the most insane person on the planet. Um, but you know what? That's fine. I'm used to being insane. <laughs> Right, we're going to get a chance to run at line speed now, just as it's... Uh... Yep, we can speed up now. Am I picky with my scores? Do you mean, do I restart all the time if I get low scores? No. Unless it's right at the very beginning, in which case I will. I, I drive the I drive the train to be honest to enjoy the scenario. If I get a good score, I consider that an extra bonus. But I'm certainly not fussy about it. Right, coming into Middletown. These people out with own their shirts. Catch a death of cold. Hazlitt track, we are going to be ridiculously late. Oh, but it's brightening up the weather quite nicely. Brightening up the weather quite nicely. Aspect is green, so we are good. Yeah, I saw your idea, PJT. It's interesting. Oh, I need the wipers, Moggy. Four miles. Got one minute to get there. <laughs> we need to be doing about 200 miles an hour. That should be fine. I don't see a problem. Oh, flash of lightning. That was awesome. Right, we're slowing down for the uh, 17s coming up. Onyx Fane 296, thank you for the follow, much appreciated.
Thunder and Lightning is a scripted scenario feature. You can do extra weather. I did cover some of the extra weather stuff you can do, like the uh, Mega Rainfall. But um, Lightning and Thunder have been there since TS13. It just has to be added in a, uh, using scripting, so it's not trivial to do. Am I missing all the whistle boards? This train does indeed have instrument lights. That's a good call. Oh, 80 limit. Okay, we're going to get told to slow down now. Emergency brake on. Oh, you shitty train! You're supposed to be able to release the brakes while it's going. Yeah. find out in a minute. We are going to be well late for this. We're going to get so told off. Oh, no, I didn't want to drop to 30. says, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to apologise for the delay on this service. This is due to a wrong kind of driver. That's a lot of rain. Right. Oh, we got points. We got points, folks! on tap. No, Red Bull is the absolute last thing you need if you're doing a 24 hour stream. Absolute last thing that you need. Right, 
yellow. Set 45 is our current limit then. Yeah, even coffee's a bad idea. Any kind of uh, stimulant is bad because you get a boost and then you get a bigger crash. And so what happens is you end up boosting for a bit and when you crash you take another boost which boosts you in, but it doesn't boost you quite as much because it's fighting off the crash. But then you crash even harder and so you generally can't get more than two. Um, once you get beyond that it's, uh, it's fine. Um, Fringe Styler wants me to accept that energy drinks don't work. Well, no, I will disagree with that, because uh, one energy drink, I think, works fine. Come out of cab signalling, finally. Aberdeen Matawan is our next station. JT wants to connect me to the national grid so it can electric shock me if I go to sleep. That's probably more effective to be honest. Merely the threat is probably more effective. Wildstone Raider, double, uh, double o one one, double o one one. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Make a robot slap me every time I fall asleep. Interesting idea. Right, that's Aberdeen Matawan. Strong black coffee energy drink. No. The best thing you can have, apparently, for... Uh, I read a number of things on this, and the best thing that you can do is have, um, like, nutrition bars and lots and lots and lots and lots of water and just drink the heck out of water and eat lots of nutrition bars. <laughs> Got a cab signalling indicator on here again. What's it going to tell us? We're back under control of cab signalling again. The green bar has reappeared. Oh, it's 45 limit. Twit. Just uh, all the wrong buttons. <laughs> oh, it just got uh, bright. Drinking lots of water keeps making you want to go out of the loop. It does, and that will give me a good excuse to uh, get up and move around. Right, we've come out of cab signalling now. Stream tip for donations. Um, I'm using. You're going to use just giving. Um, beyond that, I don't know yet. Sorry, I just had horns to do, bells to do, braking to do, overspeeding to not do too much more. Right, Dean, see you back after you've had your tea. We shall be here. Unless I rage quit, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Good 
3.2 miles to South Hamboy. Only three minutes late here as well. That, uh, that delay there um, completely messed me up. Forty-five limits. Page it is. It's stream all day Friday or Friday night, Saturday night. It's probably going to uh, possibly, and these date, these timings aren't final, but something like one p.m. Friday to one p.m. Saturday, something like that. I don't want to start too late on Friday because I'll, I'll have to uh, add that onto whatever time I'm up before. So if I started, you know, in the evening on Friday, it's actually a forty-eight hour that I'll have to be awake to do that, which is insanity. Uh, but I think if I start Friday morning, everyone's at work or school still. Whereas if I start Friday mid-afternoon or early afternoon, then it's got more chance that folks will be uh, folks will be home. Uh, yeah, for Stalin, I should be talking to the mods to find out what they can do. I mean, Darkness has already let me know that he's going to be when he's going to be available. Tibas, yes, the Up 46 is indeed based on the BR101 in reality. But to be honest, moderator or not, I'm definitely interested in finding out who is uh, available. Why is the emergency brake on? Go away emergency brake. Excellent. Right, this is South Amboy. That's awesome, Prince Darling. Bertie Afro is interested in helping out as well. Nice roof coup as well. Excellent. Sounds like we're going to have a good, uh, a good group of people. What needs? If I was sitting here on my own and I'd bore myself to death with my own company. It's a good job you guys don't mind being in my company because I can't stand it. <laughs> Moggy's pom poms are on standby. Excellent.
Oh, I've got another 222 points for that. Service will continue on to New York Pen, but you will leave it here. Scenario complete. Sliver! That's not bad. Oh, no, not Sliver. Ugh, their medals are all at the top there. Did I get anything at all? I don't know. I didn't see them bounce, because I've got a chat window sitting over the top of the medals. But I've got two achievements. A 750 and a 2400. Ooh, excellent. Just a Borns. Oh well, I got a Borns. That'll do. Okay, right. So that was the ALP 46. Um, although you didn't see much of it because on the other end of the train this time round. Um, but um, yeah, so that was ALP 46. It was released today for the North Jersey coastline, and uh, it's rather splendid actually. Um, it's an uh, electric loco based on the BR101 German electric loco, so it's quite sprightly and um, it's uh, another good add-on to uh, broaden your stock on that route so, oops, wrong button, sorry let's put the right button, I got the right one, that's better <laughs>